Hoopla. It's recording. Okay. Hey, everyone. All right. Do I ever have an exciting puzzle for you guys today? I am finally getting to review this puzzle sent to me by PuzzQuest. This is a totally new brand to me. They have such a great backstory, and when I found them, I couldn't resist reaching out to them. I have no idea what I'm in for with this, so let's crack it open and find out. Hey everyone! Alright, so I am very, very excited today. I've been wanting to do this since before Christmas. I found this incredible little puzzle company through Instagram called PuzzQuest. And they kind of have a backstory similar to our own on the channel and I really couldn't resist reaching out to them to see if they would be opening up, if they would be open to, um, to a collaboration. And little did I know, like they asked for my address and everything, I didn't know they were sending me a puzzle. This guy showed up Christmas Eve. What an incredible surprise Christmas gift. Like it, it was so nice of them to, to send it. Like I just, I, I couldn't believe it. I'm so excited to tell you guys a little bit more about these guys. This is like, it, I saw their puzzles and I'm like, I gotta do it, I gotta do. It's a beautiful image. It actually looks a little challenging with all this dark imagery in the background. And this is made by an actual artist. But more on that in a minute. So, with my puzzle, and one thing that I really like about these small puzzle companies is that they add a little bit of a personal touch to it. They sent me a really cute little note. Like it, I don't know, I like the fact that they they not only took the time to send me this puzzle, but they actually took the time themselves, the owners, to write out a little note. So it's, Dear Maxine, thank you for your interest in the PuzzQuest brand of puzzles. We hope you enjoy this complimentary puzzle adventure, and we look forward to seeing the completed project along with your review of Grizzly Scroll. And they are on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube for anyone who's interested. Uh, happy puzzling and Merry Christmas from Lori and George, the PuzzQuest team. Um, and their website, if you guys want to check them out, which I will link in the description below as well for you guys, because I like I highly recommend it. They have beautiful puzzles. There's this snowy reflections one that they have by a different artist that I, oh, I, I want it. I'm tempted. It reminds me of a puzzle I used to do at my grandma's house once upon a time. Um, so their website's www.puzzquest, um, same as their brand, so just P-U-Z-Z, -Z, quest. Q W Q U E S T yeah Ugh. words dot com um, and yeah check them out they offer free shipping at, oh, with over orders over thirty five dollars both Canada and American wide so that's pretty cool can't argue with that because shipping is expensive shipping is a killer um, and it would not take you long to spend thirty five dollars let me tell you that no over there okay so a little bit of a background about the company themselves. What made me want to reach out to them is the fact, one, they are smaller, and two, would you guys know that they actually do wholesale? We are thinking about carrying them in the store provided that this puzzle is good. Because they're actually, it, this shipped from Peterborough, and that's like a hop, skip, and a jump from where we are, which is amazing. That would be a really cool partnership if we're able to build it. So the thing about, that really made me want to reach out to them is how they get the imagery for their puzzles. So they actively seek out smaller, unknown artists that haven't made it big in the world of art yet, but are passionate about creating nonetheless. And they take their art and they create it into puzzles. So right now they've got about four or five different artist series that they've got. This particular one, as well as Grizzly Pounce, was done by Jenny Stevens. Beautiful, beautiful work. Grizzly Pounce looks a little bit easier. It's got a little bit more color gradient in it. This one looks like it'll be a little bit more of a challenge. Um, but yeah, they're smaller, unknown artists, and they want to help them out as much as they, they want to build their businesses together. Um, and a percentage of each puzzle sale actually goes back to that artist so that they can keep creating, which is really amazing. So they built this really cool partnership. They themselves are small. The artists are smaller, which really spoke to us here at the channel because we're small, realistically. We are not Karen Puzzles. We are smaller. We are here. I'm here because I want to share puzzles with you guys. I'm here only to share what I think is really fun and exciting and all that with you guys. I want to share the love of puzzling and they want to share the love of puzzling and art. Great company, really nice people, environmentally friendly puzzles, 
I don't know about the quality though. I assume it's good. They brag about how good their quality is. We are gonna find out. That is what we are here to do. So, I have high hopes for these guys. I really, I don't see there being an issue, but that's a knock on wood because you, you know, it's Murphy's Law. You say one thing and another happens. Oh, I've been waiting to do this for weeks now. Uh, goodbye, plastic wrap. I cannot wait to see what's inside here. Ooh, good quality box, too. Seriously, good and sturdy. Like, it's got a little bit of a plastic lining to it, almost, that makes it sturdier. So for those of you that are a little more careful with your boxes than I am, a little bit negligent, um, this box will not deteriorate on you anytime soon. Oh, we have the actual puzzle. Hey, that's cool. They're one of those companies that letters the back of the puzzle. So if you do prefer that style of doing it, that'll make it a little bit easier. The pieces look really big, too. Oh, my goodness. It's a Ziploc bag. Oh, my God. I love that. Why is this not a thing? Seriously, we all end up putting them in Ziploc bags nine times out of ten anyways for storage. Why make the extra plastic to throw out? Holy crap. Okay, they just scored major points. That's insane. The big boys don't do that. They're like, get on track, big boys. Like, this, this, very simple concept. Very awesome. Okay, I'm impressed already. We have the poster. Yeah, that's cool. Good quality. It's going to be a decent sized puzzle, I assume, like everything else. Hey, they've got a QR code on it. You can download a free screensaver. Oh, that's cool. So if you like the image, you can scan the QR code, download it onto your phone or your laptop or whatever, and have it as a screensaver. I mean, that's pretty neat. Okay. Is this part of the box? It is. Okay, actually, that's cool. All right. So, um, ah, yes. So this is a little bit of a breakdown of what I was telling you about how they send a little portion of each puzzle sale back to the artist, and they actually give a little breakdown about the artist that did this. All right, you guys, so here we have the thank you. I hope you all can see that. I know there's a bit of a glare. Um, so it says, supporting artist development and growth is our mission at PuzzQuest. A percentage of every sale goes directly to the artists and art communities, which is pretty cool. We got their logo there, a giant thank you for your purchase. And down here we have a little bit about the artist. So it's a little bit like an about the author page and a picture of her. Oh, and then there's their website and in case anyone was interested. Okay, so artist Jenny Stevens is a passionate wildlife photographer. On her 14th birthday, she was given an Eastman Kodak Brownie camera and has never looked back. Now in her 70s, Jenny shows no signs of slowing down from shooting humpback whales in the Northwest Passage to grizzly bears in British Columbia. I'm guessing that's where this one came from. Uh, she is at peace in the wilderness. To learn more about Jenny, visit www.jennystevensphotography.com. So that's pretty cool. I like that they give a little breakdown about the author. That's awesome. All right, the Ziploc bag. That brings, that, that is like major points. I love that. Now I don't need to go to the store and buy one. <laughs> All right. All right, you guys, so I will open up the bag and show you a little bit of some of the pieces with the close-up cam so you guys can kind of get a sense of them. Okie dokie. So, at first glance, they're not the soft touch kind of pieces. I would equate them more to the bits and pieces type. As you can see, they do have the letters on the backs. Um, something interesting that just kind of jumped out at me. Let me see. If, here's a piece I could show you with. So I would have assumed the letters go in alphabetical order, but they actually don't. So with this one, there's some E's, and then it jumps right into J's, which I find really interesting. There's de like there's E, there, there's F's, there's G's. I, I'm surprised that they don't go in that kind of order. I really would have assumed that just for ease of use, but hey, I guess not. Um, so the top of the surface of the pieces themselves, they have a very shiny, very matte kind of um, surface, er, sorry, very shiny kind of surface to them, so they may cause a bit of a glare if you're working with lighting. Um, like I said, they're not the soft touch like Ravensburger or Cobble Hill. I would equate them more like a bits and pieces type of puzzle. They've got the uh, hard type of plastic surface on them, so they'll be very, very durable. Like none of the pieces look bent or anything like that. I know that that can happen sometimes. But yeah, they, they look like they'll be really firm pieces. 
So, I guess I better dive into this to kind of let you get to see... Oh, well, here's two pieces that are actually stuck together. That's interesting. Okay, cool. So they will have really good clickability then, it looks like. But those... And I've just now lost the piece it was attached to. That's okay. I'll put more together. But, um, yeah. So I guess we'll find out. Let's see what the clickability is like. See that? Like, I can just tell by the way that they go in together, that, that, like, they go well. <laughs> Okie dokie, you guys. So, first off, when you know, you know. They, when they fit, you know they're in the right home. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Uh, let me show you how some of them click together here. I've got my corner piece and this piece. Like, they, they snap right in there, and they stay. So, like, when they are in their home, there is no question about it. And when you're wrong, there is also no question about that. Like, you, you know for sure. Fantastic clickability. Um, just based on the way that they're going together, like I said, I have absolutely no doubts that once it's a whole puzzle, I'm going to be able to pick this thing up. Like, I could do a dance around the room with it, and it won't come apart. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Something I like about it already. I will say that there's a decent amount of glare just working with the overhead lighting because of the shiny finish. Um, so if any of you are working with lighting, that would be one point out of its favor, possibly. But other than that, as long as your light's in the right position, it shouldn't really be much of an issue.
going to flip to the close-up cam here for you guys because I want to show you what a beautiful job they did with this puzzle. I'm loving it so far. Um, everything clicks into place as it should. There is a bit of room for error. Some pieces can still go in the wrong spot, but it's marginal because it's like you will know it's wrong. It might go in, but you can tell it doesn't fit in, which is really nice. Um, there's no jiggliness whatsoever. Very, very sound in its home. And holy crap, did they ever do a good job of transitioning this image into a puzzle. The color and the saturation they used, it look, it's, it's gorgeous. They did such a fantastic job. Um, this grizzly could be taking a stroll in our office here, for all we know. Okay. Alrighty, so there's nothing really going on in this corner here. I haven't really done much of the background forest yet, but look at this bear. Look at the detail in the fur. It's insane. Like, that's gorgeous. They captured the lighting really well. Got some sticks so that it's got that really nice... It's like it's the real picture that you're looking at, not a puzzle, because here it's blurred out in the front to really, really focus on the detail of the grizzly. We've got the water that I've done a little bit of work on. Just mo Really, this is just sticks up front right now. My main focus has been the bear itself. But wow, does it ever turn out nice. So pretty.
there's so many random leaves so many random berries like it just looks like a pile of wood and for like if you're looking for a challenging puzzle that's definitely a thing for you and it is still a challenging puzzle i would definitely rate it like a 9 out of 10 for difficulty but because they did such a good job with the image it's actually not as hard as it could be had they not gotten the picture so detailed it would just be a nightmare so let me show you what it's looking like so far so up here where there was nothing before we've got the branches and hopefully you guys can see the berries like they are really you can really see the details in this image we've got the trees down here by the water We've of course got the bear. I haven't done the leafy area yet. That's the last part I've got to do. Got a little bit more going on in the corner here. And then I finished up down here as well. So it's coming together really, really well. And I'm still really enjoying the image quality itself. Like it's all together very well put um, together and a very well done puzzle. Okay, you guys, it's all done. What do you think? I think it's a really beautiful picture. Like, do the colors ever just pop in it? Like, look at the detail in those leaves. You don't get that often. Oh, where?
All right, everybody, it's all done. What do you guys think? I think it's a really beautiful puzzle. Like, look at how these colors just pop and all the detail in the leaves and the branches. You don't get to see that every, like, all the time. All the detail. They did not skimp out in the production of this puzzle. And, like, I can't get over how bright the bear is. The box does not do it justice at all. The colors pop way more than they do on the box. Like it really, especially around this portion of the bear, I really expected it to be much more dark and blotchy than it really was. Even the detail here where there's the tree, where it's meeting the stream, like there's the details of the rocks. It's crazy. It, it, it's a way more beautiful picture than I would have ever anticipated looking at the box. It absolutely does not do it justice like you can kind of see it in the box but i just i just don't think it's as bright i think once it's assembled the picture's actually prettier which i really wonder about their grizzly pounce because that's an even brighter image that would really pop okay you guys so as you can probably figure out this puzzle gets a pretty good review from me really its only detriment that I would have to say is the shininess of it. If you're working with lighting, be very careful where you place it because it will be very reflective and that will be a little frustrating. That being said, there's something good to be said about the shiny material because it's just so smooth. I, it's, a, it's a texture thing, like I just love the feel of it. There's something it has that soft click does not have. Um, image, excellent quality, clickability like ins insanely good um is it a firm puzzle it does it stay together well uh, I, don't, I don't know i'm gonna let you guys be the judge of that we are gonna see Woohoo! oh my god look at that thing okay uh actually a curiosity point it does go in alphabetical order okay i understand how that how their thinking is with that now i was so curious when i saw the pieces i, I just don't understand i would have thought they'd go in rows they're in squares. So this is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, P, or H, there's no I. What? They left out I. Okay. H, J, K, M, and there's no L either. And okay, kind of alphabetical order, kind of. Um, they forgot a few letters of the alphabet there, like I, someone needs to <laughs> sing them there. A, B, C's. Maybe they take them up because it's an I and an L or... Super close together yeah, or something, possibly. Close. Yeah, it's possible. So, I mean, it's pretty cool that it does have the letters on the back if you choose to take that route because it does make it a little bit easier. Uh, it's completely up to the puzzler. And flip that back over with no damage done. So, yes very very good quality that way very similar to Ravensburger how you can pick them up and wave them around and dance with them yeah, they don't fall apart some puzzles you can't do that with bad things happen <laughs> um I said image quality was really good um I will say difficulty level this is probably a higher spectrum kind of puzzle if you're looking for more of a challenge this is a good one they do have some easier puzzles on their website as well so they've got a really good variety that way um like I said, they're on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. Um, there was another one. Uh, oh, and YouTube. They have a YouTube channel as well, I guess, um, which is really cool. That's, uh, so if you guys want to check them out, it is PuzzQuest, and that's www.puzzquest.com. I will drop the link in the description. Definitely check out their puzzles. Like they're, they're really beautiful. I would, if you can't afford to buy one now, definitely add them to your wish list. I know they're on mine. I wish I could go puzzle shopping and buy them all. They've got a few different artists. They've got a few different series. Uh, it's really, really cool. And I cannot wait to see what this wonderful small business does. So that's it for me. A giant thank you to PuzzQuest, specifically Lori and George, for sending me this puzzle and being so nice. Like it, that, that was incredible. I really did not. I reached out to them and I wasn't, I, I've, I'm so glad that I made that decision. I'm so glad that I took the chance to see, ah, let's see what they say. You never know. Um, and I think I found a new favorite.
I know where I'll be spending my money when I have some. <laughs> All right, you guys. Have a good night. Thank you for watching. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good night.